Okay, so let's examine this sewing kit kind of closely. Uh, this came to me with a bunch of other World War I stuff. Let me set this over here. Uh, it's obviously handmade. Uh, you can see here, uh, that was where the thread bunched up when the stitching began. And... Uh, it's a little unevenness in the uh, number of stitches per inch here versus here. Uh, it's constructed of a khaki cloth, a corded khaki cloth. And uh, it has a very soft, looks like a shirt material or perhaps bed ticking. Can you see the, the uh, stripes there? Uh, the edges of this material have been pinked and then cut with a pair of pink and shears. That's a diagonal, uh, like toothy pattern there. It keeps it from fraying. Uh, it has a fairly large needle poked in here. It's still got some blue thread on it. Perhaps the guy was in the infantry. And uh, over here on this side, we've got a safety pin and several fairly two two fairly long common needles and one well now that i look at it they're all very long common needles uh, in here is scrap of paper uh, on the opposite side there are no markings whatsoever but it does have the telltale stitching of a handmade item okay it was done on a machine uh, it wasn't hand stitched, but it was still made at home. Mama made this. Okay. Inside, what we just pulled out there was uh, this package of uh, common pins. And there was also another package of common pins. This, I believe, are the. No, those are the same size. So there are a good deal of pins in this uh, in this set. And then there's a little piece of cardboard with some thread on it. You can see he's got some white thread down there hiding behind the, the tan khaki. And kind of a, a brighter khaki thread here. Okay. And a safety pin. Uh, it ties with a length of uh, about half inch wide herring bone twill tape. Okay, all right, let's compare that to the reproduction. Okay, reproduction has basically the same kind of stitching on it it's because it was constructed in the same manner as the original. You can see here where, where I started the thread got a little bit of bunching up on it. The uh, material is basically the same, uh, but it's newer. It's a little lighter, uh, may get darker with age, but... These handmade items didn't have a uniform uh, cloth to them. They, they, whatever was available down at the dry goods store is what they made that stuff out of, which is why I went with this very nice soft ticking material I've got here. I, would, I make one of my uh, Red Cross bags out of this. I really love this stuff. Uh, but it's made the same way. It has the same herringbone twill tape. And it's constructed in the same manner. Uh, in, in, it's, it's actually a really nice thing to sew. I really love this because uh, a couple minutes with the iron and a couple minutes with pinning this stuff together, you can actually make this pretty quick. I imagine that somewhere, somewhere along the line, a whole bunch of women sat around and made a bunch of these sewing, sewing kits to, uh, to give away. So this is this is our uh, reproduction sewing kit. This, this is the first model. We've got a couple others coming out, but right now this is what we're going to be selling.